Tornado touching down in Cakeland this weekend, leaving behind damage like this up in northwest Kansas. We know that an EF1 tornado did hit Sharon Springs, and despite all the piles left behind, take a look at this footage right here. Also of a tornado, suspected tornado over in Grainfield. This, though, is over in Sharon Springs, what you're seeing right near, here on your TV screen giving us a perspective of just how bad things were from up above and down below. The sheriff's office says the good news is that no people were seriously hurt. There was one of this one is one of several storms from Friday into Saturday morning, but here's a breakdown of everything. So EF1 over in Sharon Springs, also in the city of Selden, and then suspected tornadoes. All that's being looked into in small towns of Winona, Mingo and Greenfield. We're going to take a look at everything as we get more information on those possible tornadoes, but nothing as significant as we've seen over in Sharon Springs. As Maeve Ashbrook shows us, the city is no stranger to severe weather, but the people who live there say this storm was different. But here on the east side, the roads were littered with uh, receipts and papers from the co-op building that lost its roof and uh, lots and lots of pokey trees and roofs. Nails, shingle nails. Corey David was not only surveying storm damage at his home in Sharon Springs, but also from the skies, capturing these drone photos. You know, it's kind of bittersweet. You, you kind of like the photos seeing them, but you don't like the events that lead up to them and just knowing how close it was. He says within seconds of getting an emergency alert on his phone Friday night. We could start hearing the high shrill of the wind circling so we could tell some things were in the air and they were big items hitting other big items. <laughs> The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning uh, for parts of Wallace County. The alarm on my phone went off. Well, it says in the area. Well, in Wallace County, that could mean anything. Julie Samuelson says she's no stranger to severe weather, but... I got up this morning right off the bat and started looking around and I'm going, oh my gosh. It, it's... it's Awful. The storm hit multiple cities in western Kansas Friday night. In Sharon Springs, it ripped off roofs and damaged multiple buildings. For me, it's the worst. This is one of the only ones I can remember that's really gone through the heart of town. A tornado hit the city of several hundred people last October. David says it just got done fixing the damage, but now the road to recovery reset. The thing about it in Sharon Springs, if it hurts one person here, it hurts all of us. And we'll hear more from that drone photographer later on here in this show. In the meantime, this morning, Cake viewers sharing additional views of the storm. Heather Hankins sharing this picture of the damage with us. She shares this photo of the trees that have fallen over. Look at the debris of everything that had fallen in the city. She said there was a lot of damage to various parts of town and in other areas like the city park. And then Linda Romo Cruz shared this photo with me. She says this is over in Rexford, Kansas. This rooftop damage was likely the result of some strong winds. She said things kicked up late Friday night, leaving them with this, this damage this weekend. Feel free to share your storm photograph with us on the Cake News Facebook page right now. And a number of Cake viewers reacting to the damage left behind as well. Martha says prayers for these communities as they begin to clean up from the storms. We also reached out to more people from that area asking if there was a message that they wanted us to share for them. Kyliana says, I'd just like to say that even though it was a nasty reminder of just how helpless and meager we are against the weather, no one was seriously injured or killed last night. Everyone did a wonderful job of keeping their cool. And then Billy asked us to talk about the awesome community and how everyone is coming together and helping each other because that's what we do in Western Kansas. And that help continuing on today, the city of Goodland providing a helping hand to Sharon Springs this weekend. The city sharing these photos. This is what took place yesterday afternoon of the line crew assisting with storm damage to several electric poles. There was a lot of concern of power lines being down and such right after that storm. So it's great to see things coming together because we know power definitely was an issue for people as of yesterday, possibly even continuing on in today. You can keep tabs on everything weather wise and we encourage you to as we enter this storm season. You can track any type of weather no matter where you are by downloading the Cake First Alert weather app. So if you're outside of Cake Land, boom, we have you covered. If you're here, certainly we have you covered as well with that interactive radar. And we also send out push alerts if you need to know of anything, any immediate danger.